Hello and welcome to Wired Outdoors. I know you're probably like me and really excited for the upcoming hunting season, but one of the things I love the most about the late spring and early summer is taking care of those Whitetail Institute food plots. We put a lot of hard work in on our food plots, and if you take care of them, they can last you for a really long time. So today, we're gonna be highlighting a new product from these guys called a Rest Max for the grasses, as well as Slay for the broadleaf weeds and Surefire Crop Oil, and you're gonna be absolutely amazed at the results we have. Hello and welcome to Wired Outdoors. It is the springtime and one of my favorite times of the year. We're all excited for whitetail season, but first things first, as you can see behind me, we have a beautiful Whitetail Institute clover plot here, but a lot of grasses are starting to grow. It's the end of May, and we need to take care of those so it doesn't overtake this plot. So what you're gonna see today, we're gonna be using a new product from Whitetail Institute called a Rest Max. You're gonna be hearing a little bit more about the technical aspects of this a little bit later from the folks at Whitetail Institute. But in the meantime, we're gonna get this sprayed kill all these grasses, mow it over, and show you the great results we have. As you can see behind me, we have another clover plot. This particular one is called the right away and we have broadleaf as well as grasses in here. So to take care of those grasses, we're gonna be using the Whitetail Institute of Rest Max. To take care of the broadleaf weeds we got in here, we're gonna be using their sleigh. So we're gonna to get to it here. We're gonna spray this plot, come back in and mow it. And we're gonna have a great looking clover plot. Okay, this particular plot is called the Grandpa Plot. If you've seen in the past, had some tremendous success here. My son Colin took his first ever deer. But this is an example of what not to do. You can see we let the grasses get a little bit out of control in here. But I still think we're going to be able to salvage it. But you never want to let it get quite this bad. But we're going to spray it anyway with the Whitetail Rest Max and probably the Slay as well, depending on how much broadleaf we have. But we're going to spray it here. I have a hunch we can still save it. But this is an example you don't want to let it get this high. Okay, this plot is called the cattail plot and this is where my son shot his very first buck. This plot was really, really good to us last year. Half of it we had in pure attraction and the lower half we had all in clover. So all this behind me is clover and it looks really good right now. It might be kind of hard to see, but all this, there's some, there's some grasses in here that we need to spray with the Arrest Max, but underneath it is solid clover. So we're gonna get this sprayed with the Arrest Max. We're gonna have another great looking clover plot. This plot behind me is called Deceiving Upper, and as you can see, we have a lot of not only broadleaf, but grasses in here as well. So we're gonna be spraying this with both Slay and Arrest Max. So we're gonna to get to it, get it sprayed here. As usual, come back, mow it off, and hopefully we'll have a great looking Whitetail Extreme plot. It is about a month later since you saw us spray the Arrest Max in this food plot and you can see behind me we have an absolutely gorgeous clover plot now. We were getting a lot of grasses in here and that's what Arrest Max is for. It's going to take care of all those grasses. We're going to show you a couple of other food plots as well where we not only sprayed Arrest but we sprayed the Slay to take care of those broadly. But if you take care of these food plots they can last you five maybe even six years. Behind me we have another gorgeous Whitetail Institute clover plot and you saw the befores of this. It was absolutely grown up in grasses and in broadleaf weeds. 
So we sprayed this with both the Arrest Max as well as their Slay product. And you can see now, it's at, there's no weeds in here anymore. It's nothing but clover. So again, I know we talk about it. We stress it all the time. You take care of these perennial plots. They can last you for a very long time. This is the grandpa plot, and if you remember, this was one we said, this is what you shouldn't do. And we had grasses about two and a half, three feet tall. And you can see behind me now, we sprayed this with the Arrest Max, which took care of all those grasses, as well as the Slay. We had some broadleaf weeds in here. And behind us now, we have nothing but a beautiful clover plot. So again, we're gonna say it over and over again. You take care of these perennial plots, they can last a really long time. We are back at what we call the cattail plot, and you can see behind me, I am really excited about this particular plot absolutely beautiful clover we sprayed this we had a lot of grasses in here we sprayed it with the arrest max we came back in a couple weeks later we mowed it off and we have nothing but clover so an absolutely gorgeous plot i cannot wait till hunting season this is a deceiving plot and i am most excited i think about this particular plot when we came in here we had a ton of grasses we had broadleaf weeds we sprayed it with the arrest max as well as the sleigh from whitetail institute Came in a few weeks later, we mowed it. You can see we have an absolutely beautiful food plot now. Half of this is Imperial Clover, which I'm standing in right now. The other half is Whitetail Extreme. So a really, really good looking food plot, and I am very excited to hunt it come this fall. I think the video speaks for itself, and you saw us using their new Arrest Max for the grasses, the sleigh for the broadleaf weeds, and the Surefire Crop Oil. And if you're looking for more information on the great products from Whitetail Institute, visit their website at whitetailinstitute.com. We want to wish everybody a lot of luck out there. Hunting season's going to be here soon, and thank you all for joining us on Wired Outdoors.